Recently, there's been some talk about Tier 2 pensions. But how do pensions work exactly? What's the difference between Tier 1 and Tier 2? And is rushing to change Tier 2 benefits actually helpful to everyone? Pensions are a type of retirement plan for public employees, unions, and some private companies. Employees contribute a set percentage of their annual salary to a pension fund over the course of their career. Their employer also contributes money to this fund. The result is that employees are guaranteed a set amount of money every year after they retire. So why are there two different tiers of pensions? After decades of generous payouts, pensions became much too expensive for the state to fund. The estimated amount of unfunded pension liabilities for all state and local pension funds is over $210 billion. In 2010, a law was passed that reduced retirement benefits and pensions in order to reduce costs and the burden on local governments in distress. However, the Illinois state constitution forbids cutting pension benefits that are already promised. Instead, the 2010 law created a new tier of reduced pension benefits for all public employees who began working after January 1, 2011. While Tier 2 benefits may not be as high as Tier 1, they are still defined benefit plans for employees when they retire that most private sector employers no longer offer. Thanks to these savings, the state of Illinois' unfunded pension liabilities are expected to decrease as soon as the year 2030. To put it in perspective, the Village of Orland Park's pension contributions would be $1,178,170 higher in 2024 if all employees were still on Tier 1 pensions. Now, there have been many unwarranted pushes to increase Tier 2 pension benefits without providing any analysis or how much it would cost local governments and taxpayers. Taxpayers are ultimately responsible for funding pensions, whether they're Tier 1 or Tier 2. Increasing or reinstating benefits could undo all of the work the state of Illinois has done to reduce its pension burden. This is why the Village of Orland Park urges not to make changes to Tier 2 pensions.